So they want us to sketch a right triangle to find this infra to find um, evaluate this trigonometric function. So a couple things if you guys remember writing a right triangle. There's a couple things we're going to look at. First of all, we're going to have our angle is going to be theta. Our opposite side from our nine degrees is always going to be our hypotenuse. The, the side length that's opposite of your degree is always going to be your opposite. And the side length that connects your theta with your right angle is what we're going to call our adjacent. Now, there's a couple things you guys should remember as far as um, our right triangle is that sine ends up equaling your um, opposite over your hypotenuse. Cosine of theta is equal to your adjacent over your hypotenuse. And tangent of theta is equal to your opposite over your adjacent. Okay, you guys have to remember those. That's from uh, your geometry. We just gotta remember that stuff. Now, what we're including though is also our sine, or I'm sorry, our secant, our cosecant, and our cotangent. Well, if we know that uh, secant is equal to one over cosine, okay, it's the reciprocal property. So if you know that cosine is equal to one over a over h. Well, then we can say, to remember, get rid of this, that cancels the one. We could say that our secant is h over a. All right? Make sense? It's like this reverse this. Right. It's the reciprocal. Secant is the reciprocal of cosine, just like cosecant would be the reciprocal. So without even doing all the math, I can say that cosecant is hypotenuse over opposite, and the cotangent is going to be of theta is going to be adjacent over opposite. Okay? okay? So now we have secant of theta equals two. We need to figure out well by using this triangle, how can I evaluate what that, you know, how can I evaluate for theta? Well, when you have a fraction, it's kind of easy. So one thing, can I write secant as a can I write two as a fraction? Over one. Right. And you can just write it as secant of theta equals two over one. Now I can say, oh, I'll have my hypotenuse equal two, and my adjacent side will equal one. Does that make sense? Yes. So my hypotenuse is equal to two, and my adjacent is equal to one. Um, and what else were they asking for this one? Okay, and then we have to find the other trigonometric functions, right? So therefore, I don't know what this side like this. So we're gonna have to use Pythagorean theorem to figure it out. So I can say two squared equals a squared plus b squared, or let's just do that. c squared equals a squared plus b squared. So we have two squared equals one squared plus b squared. Well, four equals one squared is one plus b squared minus one, 3 equals b squared, so you square root, b equals the square root of 3. So everybody see how I use secant to help me draw my triangle? Here's another way real quick um, for you guys to, that you guys can see this. Let's say I, I didn't understand how to make the 2 over 1. You know that secant is 2, right? So you guys know that if secant is 1 over cosine, you guys should also know that cosine is... Um, is equal to your um, secant, well, it's going to be your 2 over 1. Right, secant, is, I'm sorry, cosine is 1 over secant, right? Mm -hmm. If secant is 1 over cosine, cosine is 1 over secant. Those are reciprocals of each other. So secant is what? 2, right? So you can say cosine is equal to 1 over 2. Well, yes, we know that. So then you could write adjacent over hypotenuse. Okay? That's the other way you guys could have done it. Or just said two over one. Two over one, yeah. It, I don't know which way makes sense to you, so there's two different ways. So now we have a right triangle. We can Now we can do our six trigonometric uh, functions. So I know I already know what secant is. Cosine, I already know what cosine is, is one half. So secant of theta equals two over one. Cosine of theta equals one half. 
Let's do um, sine of theta, opposite over adjacent. I'm sorry, opposite over hypotenuse. And cosecant of theta is going to be the reciprocal of that, which will be 2 over square root 3. Well, you can't have that. You have to rationalize the denominator. So therefore, um, so you have 2 radical 3 over 3. Then let's look at tangent is opposite over um, adjacent. So you have square root of 3 over 1. And then for a cotangent is the reciprocal of that, which would be 1 over radical 3. Rationalize the denominator. Does everybody see that? Yeah. Does anybody have any questions with that? Okay. So use your initial angle to help you find your triangle. So whatever that ratio is, use it to find the triangle. Then, once you know two sides of your triangle, use the Pythagorean theorem to find the third side. And then once you know all three sides of the triangle, <coughs> you just evaluate for your sine, cosine, and tangent. All right? Um, just like, it just, it just